Okay, so this video is a lot about installing our own sink, but it's also a little bit about the kitchen, which I will continue to update you on. When we moved in, the kitchen was pretty standard. <clears throat> it didn't have a fridge or a stove, but it had uppers and lowers and an old, uh, just a cheap countertop. It was fine, but um, the kitchen is so narrow that if you put a fridge on one wall, you can't open the door. And the stove was at the stairs. So you walk up the stairs from the basement or from the back door, which is how we come and go to a stove. So it just doesn't make sense. It felt really crowded. So the first thing I did was took down the uppers, knew they were going to go. And that's when I started to find problems, like just a big gap in the wall where you can see the sewer stack. Um, so as we've, there was also subfloor and terrible vinyl down. Um, and as we took that out, we found out why, like the kitchen floor is damaged and will eventually need redone, but the vinyl was worse. So this video is going to show you some parts of the kitchen before um, and all the way up until we finish the sink. And then there's more to be done, more painting, more patching and whatnot. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best. And long-term, we wanna pay for someone to do this, but we want it just to look good enough for now, functional for now. And then in the long-term, the plan is to renovate it. Um, and the reason that we ended up installing the sink ourselves is because the cost quoted for an installation of just the faucet was over a thousand dollars that didn't include the drain and that's a faucet we bought um and so i was like no so it took us a while to do it i was a little afraid and i kept finding things that needed to be done before we could finish it but now it's finished and we have a working sink and we did it ourselves and that's kind of cool so here's some video about the kitchen and the sink Brushed them off my teeth Cause I needed to be alone You sing the words you want I'm Trying to get this I'll finished I'll sing the ones I know Finished Gonna try to do something with that All so oh, the most of the do. time So I use eco paint, which is why there's all that on the floor there. Um, eco paint is uh, recycled paint and it's available at Habitat for Humanity Restore where I live, but it's a really weird consistency and requires a lot of stirring and it would make a lot of sense to dump it into another container because you can't really stir inside the full paint pail. Um, some concerns I have with this wall are like, you can see where they marked the studs with like black Sharpie. So, I don't know how many coats I'm gonna have to do and it's definitely laying weird where it had some paint versus where it's just the drywall. So I hope that subsequent coats even it out cause this bitch did not prime. So we'll see what happens as I keep going. But already I'm like, it's like a real kitchen instead of just garbage grossness. Oh my God, I want this kitchen to start being functional again soon. Cause I needed to be alone. You sing the words you want, I'll sing the ones I know. the time I know where I want to go but I've been closing my eyes because this is we can take this cap off when we have the <coughs> dishwasher and this is where the dishwasher drain connects to oh okay so 
Okay. Ready? Yeah. But you didn't put the knobs on the... Not yet. Yep. This currently on. Nothing. How's the drain? Oh, uh, there's a big leak. Where's it coming? A oh, really big leak. That's not... An All right, so that's it. We have a faucet. Go! Water works. New drain. It's going down. It's not leaking. So um, I bought that sink for like 50 bucks and it does need to be re like done at some point. Plus, hang on, let me flip it. When I cut out the old stuff, I damaged it, which I knew I would. And the reason I was okay with doing that is because it is going to need resurfaced at some point. But um, so... Cutting the parts out will probably damage your sink unless you're like way better than I am, which I'm not a skilled cutter. But I knew it would be need resurfaced anyway. So like 50 bucks for that. There's like 250 bucks for the faucet. Um, the drain, like the gray plastic drain stuff was only like $30. We'll see how long that lasts. And the metal drain was only like $20. And then we did plumber's putty and um, the tape that goes around when you thread things, which were probably, I don't know, like 10 bucks each. So what is that like? 20, 30, 50, 250, 300, 50, 350, and maybe another 20. So we're at under $400 to do it. And if we had, oh, I did pay to have the base built. The base was like $250, um, but that was, and I probably could have done it myself. So we're at under $1,000, but they wanted to charge me over $1,000 to install the faucet that I bought and the drain and everything. So, so far it was saving more money to do it ourselves. We probably could have built the base ourselves. Um, and I don't know, it's not always about saving money either, right? Sometimes it's just about doing stuff on your own. Okay, uh, that's it, successful sink reinstallation.